Oh, I forgot to record. Here we go. Here we're, we're going to start recording now. We're going to be selling some domain names. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. All right, here we go. Blam. I'm going through our GoDaddy account like so. We've got a uh, got a number of domain names here. We're going to be looking for. Um, next, meetingwomen.net. That's another one that I think was in the expired category that we're going to have to renew. Meetingwomen.net. Let's just select and let's move on. Bitegangs.com. Let's select and move on. Cheaptattoo.net was another one of them. Weight loss workout. We got that one. Think so. All right, so bite gangs, cheap tattoo.net, law defense.net. There it is. Makeupsex.info and off-road dirt bike and prenup divorce. All right, let's move on. All right, we're caught up. I should have done that before, but it's good we're caught up now. So those are the ones up here are the ones that I really didn't want. They're just a mess. Not really very good, I guess. So these are the ones that we have to renew. Any other ones we want to re renew? There's cameravids.com and fiscal.us that we have on auto renew. So cameravids.com and fiscal.us. Celebsextape.org. See, these are all the good ones. Um, yeah, and sure enough, I did this right. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. This is good. This is good. Cheaper water bill. Why the hell did I get rid of that one? That's good. Cheaper water bill. Honors Diploma, Hip Hop Dance Training, Honors Diploma, How to Attack. God damn it. Do it from the date. How to disarm. Yeah, I got rid of how to bathe and how to color. Those are stupid. How to employ. Is that good or not? I don't know about that one, but it's good for the list if we're going to be doing it as a group. I totally changed my mind, but I started thinking that it might be good to do it as a group and then just be like, this is the most badass group of domains ever. And I don't need to worry about huge descriptions about coin organizers and stuff. Although that would be the way I would go about it. It would be a lot of work. We're doing the research into what a coin organizer is and the businesses that use it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I treat.net. That's just like a cool domain, but this, these are the four, the April 22nd exp expiration dates. And remember, there's a lot that I didn't do yet because I had time to figure that out. 
But of course, these I wanted to keep, like Nude Thong and NonStickGrill.com and net NetworkEarning.com and PoodleTricks.com, PrankBoyfriend.com, PromoCodeSavings.com, RatFestival.com, RefurbishedPianos.com. I mean, those are really good. So I didn't really want to I have a problem like saying, oh, I'm going to lose it. I, I spent time finding them. You know what I mean? Um, snowboardingtraining.com. Yeah, I mean, I guess we, we could do it. Let me see if I can just grab all of these. And so as you see, we're just doing the ones that... Um, you know, the good ones. Nonstickgrill.com is good. This is going to be kick ass, this list. You got you Excel guys are gonna kick my ass with how fast you do this. I'm still in the dark ages. That should be very inspiring to you how it really doesn't take a rocket scientist, you know what I mean? Alright, so uh, here we go. Here's our list. I went all the way up to there. I'm thinking maybe we could just go for it and do this list. How many domains is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Should we do maybe 40? 40 domains. What do you think? Snowboardingtraining.com. Let's grab that. And remember, I'm only doing the ones that I own. Did I buy these, though? I have to buy those. It's very important. So let's do that now. Let's go to renew. It's going to be like 60 bucks. All right, thank you. All right, so one last check. Let's just double check, and also we have to get um, we have to get a couple more of you know five more domains to make forty. All right, so we got all those right, like hip hop dance training and all that. Cosmetology.org. We got that one, right? No, we didn't.
findbookvalue.com. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Findlimit.com. Getcharacter.com. Oh my God, you guys see this? Look at that. Come on, man. You can't let that, you know, you got logos done for them. Mr. Atkins, what the hell is that? Get rid of that. Yeah, you got coin organizers, filed zip, files download, pro fogger, all these investment plan services, all this stuff. This is going to be the bomb. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we got to get rid of three of them. Oh, well, let's just do all of them, 43 domains. All right, so here we go, description time. And I'll get you guys a template, and then we'll let it ride. I'll probably check up on the Craigslist later and then get started on that. But let's start with this. Yeah, we'll do that. See, what I'm wondering if I should do is drop it in there, right, and try with one and then add all the rest in those in that um, listing or do multiple domains as a catalog where there's no description. I think I'll do this, but I'll use the best one that I have, which might be that find book value one. Let me just do an Estabot appraisal on that. Make sure that my uh, suspicions are correct. That is very sad. My suspicions were not correct. It says it's worth $370. It could be wrong. I don't know why that is wrong. It's, I would think that's awesome. Yeah, cosmetology is one of the higher ones. Let me try uh, wealth tutorial. No, nothing for that. Let's 
740 for that one. Refurbishedpianos.com, uh, 1,200. All right, I'll just try it. Reserve. Five thousand dollars. I'll share this with you guys in a second. I'm going to do some copywriting genius. Might lower the reserve to 2,500 though. There you go, so you can see.
Now let's get, let's pour on the refurbished pianos Estebot, um, you know, like the similar domain sales. That was a dot com too, right? That's awesome. Was it? All right. So in the same price range. Oh my God. All right. You know what we do? Oh, come on. This will be the only example I, I need to use. Or else the thing would be freaking really long. The only thing I did wrong was I should have done this on a text edit first because this is like being ridiculous to me. All right, that was easy. Always do that first. All right, boom. And then let's talk about um, let's talk about some more. Let's pour it on. Um, what's another one that was uh, like twenty four hundred bucks? You know what I mean? We had some $2,400 ones before. Cosmetology, right? Let's do that one, man.
So you guys see what I'm doing, right? Give them some examples. Got to you got to win. You got to get your point across. All right. So now we're going to explain cause motology.org is appraised at 2400. I asked about where this is not like a product. It's like um, all right. Let's grab our examples. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, give me a break. Don't you hate that? Oh my God. Holy smokes. Oh my God. Holy mackerel. All right, we've hit a snag. We've hit a formatting snag. And so we're going to have to uh, adjust. But the good news is, is we're almost done. So it's going to be very exciting. What is going on with this?
Holy crap. I cannot believe we're wasting this much time with this. My main frustration is always formatting and stuff. I mean, it makes no sense to me how I can't just copy and paste something. I don't know what is going on with the programming side of it. But it's very exciting when we get down to the bottom of the list and we can move on. It'll be very exciting. All right, so... Um, Looking good. Looking exciting. I wish there wasn't a stupid space there. Look how stupid this thing is. Wow. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to go. You know what? No, I'm not going to add the link. That might be bad. Flippa might get mad. I'm going to save this. We have enough of these open. I'll just put that there. Thank you. And then let's move on. Let's see if Flippa will allow us to do this too. I can't remember if they will. Because sometimes um, you would... Uh... Wow. Wow. And get ultra premium. Three hundred forty nine dollars. I think I will. I think I will get ultra premium. Very exciting. Should we have made our reserve higher? No. Let's make it crazy. Let's go. Ooh. All right, I'm getting it. Getting it. Ultra premium. Make ten thousand dollars. You know what I mean? That'd be exciting. How much money I spend on this webinar just yet? I spent five hundred dollars. Really? All right, here we go.
Hey, you guys don't need to do the uh, ultra premium. I'm just crazy. All right, so here we go. What happened? No? No dice? What happened? Oh, all right. Thank you, you stupid thing. Did you see that, how it tricked me there? All right, let's verify. That'll stink if, it, if I don't own the domain or something stupid like that. Thank you. Yeah, send me the verification. I'm ready to go. Very good attendance. You guys are awesome. No one is leaving. That's amazing. Here we go. Well, that's it. That's all I had to do. Finish editing. What happened? What happened there? You're not letting me do it. Yeah, that's, that works. Has not begun. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. That is a badass listing, actually. Let's. I wonder if it works. All right. So anyway, <laughs> finish editing your listing. Okay. Will you let me do this to go live? You need to. What a stupid. God. Are you kidding me? In the creating state. Thank you, jerk. Add a, no, that's, everything's fine. It's fine. Change opening bid, add a buy it now price, change reserve price, contact premium support, change URL capitalization. I really like this listing though. So what do we have to do? I'm excited. Where the hell are my feedback, man? Got zero positive feedback. 15 transactions totaling $395,000. Was the where's the positive feedback? What happened, man? What's going on? I'm all of a sudden in the twilight zone. It says 33% sold. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, all right, this is what we have to do. We have to figure out why it's not letting me go live because of the editing, whatever that's about. And then we have to figure that out. And you guys want this template, don't you? You want the template? You remember how uh, how it's done? And uh, and then you can get started. You don't need to do the 395 if you don't want. All right, so here is the thing. Remember, selling a package like that is pretty, like, if you have a feeling like, look at me, you know, look at my, you know, like, uh, you know, what do you got, you know, Jamie, what do you got to put on the table? This, you know what I mean? Like, that's when you make money, guys. You know what I mean? You make money when you're like, you know, like with the singing guru, like, you know, that people were like, what the hell, like the JV partners are like, what the hell are you doing? You lost your mind. And I was like, all right, you just watch, you know, you just watch. And then on launch day, boom, you know what I mean? And um, that all has to do with like communicating with 
the clients. You know, it's all about your audience. It's not about the JVs. The JVs are just going to, they're, they're like, they're riding with you. You know what I mean? It's kind of like they're your, your, uh, they're riding shotgun or something. You know what I mean? So here's the template that I did. This is a very, very good, um, very, very good thing. I'll probably just end up contacting support because I'm getting tired and I don't feel like getting frustrated. But um, um, we're going to go live. I paid the 350 bucks. We'll see how it works out. Um, I could add more. I'm just getting tired and lazy. So I think that's good. I think that's good. Not sure if. I mean, we could do it in different ways too. That's the thing. All right. So anyway, I am going to upload this for you guys, and I'm going to put it on a HTML page. You can get a little HTML lesson, too, if you're a newbie and you don't know how to do that. So I'll put it on the HTML page, and then I'll upload it for you guys, and you can grab that will. Are you excited? Who is excited? I'm going back to the questions box. I haven't been there in a while. Why, thank you, Chris Mullins. Deborah, I am going to upload the... Uh, I'm going to upload it right now for you. Wow, thanks for all the great freaking uh, feedback. Steven, when you said you demand, what did I do to get that comment? Thank you. Yeah, you guys, a lot of you are probably much more tech savvy than I am. <laughs> That's the funny thing, you know what I mean? You all buy a class to learn with the guru guy, and the guru guy makes all this money and he's like retarded, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that's, that should be inspirational for you guys, for real. You know, I mean, it's not like I made my money selling get rich quick stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, you see what I do. I have a niche site, upload it to Flippa. I get all frustrated while I'm doing the listing and all that. Oh, the same thing as you guys, you know, and then boom, you know, got the, got the uh the sales coming in and a lot of those are small too like they're you know they might be ten thousand fifty thousand stuff like that it's not just like i got lucky and just sold one on there on my ebay it's like another 500 grand on there or something and then um flip a 395 and then there's a lot of domain sales that happen through forums and didn't even happen through ebay or flip as well also there was um there was the, the customers who purchased from me on Flippa would buy sites from me privately after we were done doing business on Flippa. So there's a lot of money there. You know, I mean, it's you, once you just get out there and you start actively selling, you can really take off. And then remember, your customers will become repeat customers. And um, I wish this thing wasn't working so slowly. See, I get frustrated after I've been working a while. All right, so here we go, all right? Um, what do we got here? Let me open up like a, just a simple template or something. Let me see what I got here. All right, I'll just use this. All right, and then I'll post it here in a little box. Just all I did was I opened up a page I'm just going to put a little box in there and um, open it up like that. And then um, here it is. All right. And uh, you guys, of course, I'm going to be working a lot. And this isn't just like a one shot thing. So, you know, you'll see all of my mistakes and things that don't work and stuff, but I'll be continued doing this because obviously, I mean, I've got a portfolio of freaking 200 domains that, that are, they're bought in, in with the intention of selling them. It's not like I bought them to create uh, sites with them, you know? So of course I'm sitting on all these domains, I'm renewing them. It's been a year 
I still haven't gotten on Flippa to sell them and all that. Just tried USB modem. It didn't sell. I was like, I don't have time for this right now. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do that. So now we're going to be spending the time doing it. And then you can watch the case study. You can see what works, what doesn't work, all of that. And you can start to get ahead right away. You can see the types of domains that are to my standards. I'm kind of, I have mixed feelings. As you see, when I go through the, the uh, lists here, I'm like thinking to myself, I like it. And then I'm, I change my mind. It's kind of like that, but you see, they're pretty good. They might not, some of them might be worth 20 bucks or something, but some of them might be worth something. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that cosmetology is going to sell for like 10,000 bucks, but you know what? It really has to do with if I called up, you know, the cosmo cosmetology, um, what's, what's the organization, you know, the, the, um, the cosmetology.com or something. And I email them. I'm like, Hey, I got cosmetology.org. Would you be interested in it? And then I say, there's another guy who's going to be, you know, the, if they say, yeah, we're interested in it, we'll give you 500 bucks. We're like, sorry, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's 10,000 bucks. And then, so now that person offered 500 bucks and then I ca contact someone else in that industry and then they're like, all right, we'll give you 300 bucks. I'm like, sorry, it's, it's going, we have a bid for 500. And they're like, all right, well, we'll give you 700. And then so now you're, you're doing like a private bidding war. You see what I'm saying? And then that's how you can get it up to 10,000, you know, from working with within the industry and like contacting people and you're reaching out and communicating. It's not just like you're going to post on Flippa and buy the whole thing. You should also be ready to actively do more and keep doing more to like ensure that you get, you know, good bids, you know what I mean? And it could be incredibly, I mean, this, this package is, is sick. You know what I mean? The only downside that could be, could come about is that it's all over the place. That's the only downside. And as you know, I don't bullshit you. I tell you straight up the problems, mistakes, all that. And that's the only downside to this portfolio is it's just all over the place. Like some people, I know for some examples, that was an actual example, the music downloads package, which was like 60 music download uh, URLs, you know, like domain names. And a lot of them were really stupid, but it was still that they were all in the same niche. So the investor was like, oh, this is going to be freaking great for my company. And then, of course, the minimum would be the 12 bucks that they spent. But then, of course, there's a guy going out there finding all of them. And then at the same time, the appraisals are high and there's uh, some really good ones in there. And that's why it went up to like, it was like a $8,000, you know, someone ended up spending 8,000 on a portfolio that, that was 600, you know, cost 600 bucks to buy all the domains, you know? So 600 bucks and then an $8,000 payout is pretty good. I mean, I've done this before too. I've sold packages before, um, but I never did it on Flippa before. I'd always do it on forums and stuff. So, um, you know, I think that you'll find that this this is the the right types of things to include. Like you have, you know, just up here the description, and then right away we got right down to it, explained the um, the portfolio, and then we had all of these different um, examples of sales. Now we could add more. But um, for now, we got some good work done tonight, so we'll, we'll give a rest. I'm going to have something to eat and everything, and I'll just I'll, uh, name this domain template. And then I'll upload it, and it'll be at thesingingguru.com slash domain template. And it's, again, it's, it's very simple. You know, I apologize for not making a longer. I'll... I'll um, I'll work on a longer description next time, and then we'll we'll pick up where we left off. But next time, I also want to do some uh, copywriting and stuff like that. That's perfect. We'll do more copywriting then. And um, you saw you, you can study that like the, my thought process. I wrote that description in like ten minutes or whatever. And the only problem I got into was the uh, the fact that I'm talking at the same time. It always throws me off. Like right now, I'm trying to find something. I'm talking and I can't really do two things at the same time but um here it is all right so i'm going to upload it and it'll be up there domain template 
Let's just see if it works. All right, so I uploaded it. Let's see. And then I got to contact support and find out what is going on with that. Singingguru.com domain template. All right, nice. Yeah, there really could be more to it. But this is very important. This, this right here is very important. And you have your domain. Now, if it was a single domain, because it was a package, I felt like there's not really much, you know, it's, it's kind of just like all in the, the thing. I could add more, though. I could just keep going on about every freaking domain. You know, I mean, I could write, like, I could copy and paste this, and this might be a good idea for later. Got to get something to eat, though. But if I copy and paste this, guys, and then, you know, and I, I could do it here. I'm going to text another text edit. No, I'm ter terrible with the, just to, you just go crazy with the text edits. But, you know, I could go with space and then, you know, and then write a description for all of them. And that might be a really cool thing to do below where I said how much they went for. You know, like cotton T-shirts. Everyone knows what a cotton T-shirt is. It gets this many searches. That's very important, right? Weight loss workout. This domain should be self-explanatory. Weight loss workout is a billion, you know, billion dollar, um, you know, weight loss is a, a multi-billion dollar industry, and weight loss workout is something that everyone searches. It's got this many searches and this many searches, and you're getting the .net. You're not getting the .info or the, you know, you know what I mean? It's like .net is right next to com. That's actually not true. .org is better than that. That's my opinion. WealthTutorial.net. I mean, that's awesome too. So, you know, I mean, I could I could just go freaking crazy with this, like just uh, you know, totally crazy, and uh, write descriptions for each one of them. And that I mean, maybe if I do that later, I guess this domain template thing will just keep. You know, as a community here, we'll, we'll keep updating this. And then, you know, I'll let you know if I update it. And then uh, you guys can, you know, jump to it. All right. So the singingguru.com slash domain template. Okay. I'll put that in the chat box. And thanks, guys, for the great attendance. I just wanted to go through the questions box one more time. I'll take another. Um, I'll have a little drink while I do that. And... Um, Chris says, Jamie, what would you do if the buyer sees a single domain in the list they want and not the whole list? How would you handle that? Um, that is a freaking good question, Chris Mullins. That is an amazing question. Obviously, dude, I'm teaching a class like, you know, and I want to show you. I mean, it, of course, packages, plenty of businesses do that. They're like, I have no reason for these to, you know, change business models. We're... We've gone bankrupt. We've got to sell. You know, there's a million reasons why people do that. And in that case, you just, you know, I mean, you could be like, well, I'll take it out of the list and then sell it to you. There's all sorts of things like that that go on. Obviously, I think there'd be a problem if someone was like, I want refurbished pianos, but I don't want the other ones. You know, something like that, right? That would probably be the most common. And that would be probably a bigger problem than if they were like, hey, I want cheaptattoo.net because I run a tattoo parlor, but I don't want all the other ones. Is there a special deal we could work out? And I'd, I'd try to get it out of there. But if it's already got bidders and I can't edit the description, I'd be like, sorry, dude, I can't do that because then I'd have bidders. And then you just have to tell them no. You know what I mean? Um, if you guys know of another way to do it, let me know. But that's something that always frustrates me when, some, when people start to bid. I mean, you guys are going to be so excited. When we are going to, even if this one doesn't work out as, as we want it to, you, you guys being in my class, you'll definitely see me, you know, selling domains because, I mean, I log in when I'm actively doing something. We have a, you know, a, a two-week or a one-week or a 10-day auction and things are going crazy. You know, when I come into the webinar, I'm like, oh, you guys got to see this. I love to, you know, for lack of a better word, brag about it and everything. And you'll see the problems I have, you know. I'll have like, um, you know, someone will be talking crap in the, in the comments, telling all my buyers that, 
that you know it's there's something wrong with the site or something like that and then the bid stop oh my god that makes you so mad you want to kill the person you know what i mean like all sorts of stuff and you'll see all the problems that happen and and all the good things that happen i mean heck like i've had a guy this one guy contacted me i swear this is the craziest story this is something you guys gotta remember happens a lot is that I bought this domain name and I think I bought it for 300 bucks. It was a premium domain name and it was, um, it was like this, what was it? Gettingpregnant.org. And so I, I bought this domain name. It was either for 12 bucks or 300 bucks. I can't remember, but I bought this domain name and it wasn't, I promise you it wasn't higher than that. Why the heck would I buy a domain name for, you know, more than 300 bucks about getting how to get pregnant. Right. So I buy this domain name and I put it, up on you know i make a blog for it with wordpress and i write a little article right it sits there for like a year i forget about it this guy emails me and he's like hey i'm interested in your domain getting pregnant.org do you have a a a, a number you know like the, something in your mind of how much you'd like to sell it for and i'm like no i i don't but you know thanks i'm absolutely will sell it to you if you'd like you know I have no idea what you want it, you know, what, what to sell it for. You know, you let me know. I said that to the guy. He comes back. He says, I'll do it for $5,000. Swear to God, true story. Do I have proof? Do I have the, uh, in my PayPal maybe? I won't waste your time with it. I'll try to find it later though. But we transfer this freaking, I have it in my escrow account, actually. Let me see how I can find that. I think it was with escrow. It was either with escrow or PayPal. And, and so I was like, yep, you got a deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, and so he either escrowed me or, or PayPal'd me the money. And then I was just like, holy crap. I, re I transferred the domain name to him. And it was an example of like I bought a domain name and I didn't even do anything. I didn't even put it on Flippa. Some guy contacted me and bought it. You know what I mean? There's been all sorts of little things like that here. You know, one time, like there was a guy who contacted me and was like, can you sell your, your ClickBank account to me? Like the, the account, because he said that ClickBank wouldn't give him a high price point. And I had one that had a $500 limit or like $300 limit or something. He was like, ClickBank won't let me get a, um, you know, a limit higher than, than hundred dollars. And so he's like, I'll buy it from you. We sold that to him for $5,000. I mean, it's crazy stuff, man. You know what I mean? All right. So let me see. If I could find that $5,000 getting pregnant. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Look, five grand. Closing statement. Look at that. Closing statement. See, this one was canceled. If it's canceled, it says transaction canceled. Some guy, you know, sent the money and then changed his mind or something. But all these were closing statements, and they're all over the place. So there's a bunch of them up until 2012, and then after 2012, I started. I just started taking in money with my producer Jamie at Gmail account because the someone automatically started a since i changed to gmail from yahoo because yahoo wasn't was giving me trouble and i did ccs with um with uh, joint venture partners so i changed over to gmail and then that that gmail is account is the one with the three hundred and thirty thousand. but before that look at that it's freaking crazy right getting pregnant.org five thousand dollars the guy just emails me freaking nuts right isn't that crazy so let that inspire y'all. And then I, I sent the uh, domain template into the chat box. And then, um, yeah, you know what I mean? You guys excited? So um, Deborah's asking, what is the CB limit about? It's just, it they you start a, a ClickBank account and it'll be a $100 limit, right? And so you you notice when you buy something on ClickBank that's like a thousand dollars or something you're like how the you know, but when you start a, a ClickBank account it doesn't it has a limit it's a hundred dollars so you can't sell digital products higher than a hundred dollars so 
what you do is you email them and you're like, you know, hey, can you guys raise my limit? And they'd be like, well, we're looking at your your rates and stuff and and uh, they're looking pretty good. So yeah, we'll we'll raise it. Or or they'll ask you to be like, well, what's your product? What what product do you want to sell for that? You know, when you go for a product approval. Now I had this product that was called Wealth in a Box and it was like this DVD set. It had ten DVDs and they were I worked really hard on it and it was really awesome. It was like this leather box that cost me like twenty bucks each to buy and I spent like fifty thousand dollars on these these boxes, you know. So I was like, ClickBank, this is the best freaking product ever. I was like, give me a thousand dollar price point right away. And they were like, okay, it was a really nice physical product. So they were like, all right, sure. And so they gave me this thousand dollar price point. Now the very sad thing was, is that with that launch, thousand dollars was way too high, you know. And and I was uh, just, I should have, I was out of my mind. I mean, it still ended up making my money back and everything, but. You know, it was the type of thing where joint venture partners, they were like, you know, two days into it, they were like, dude, it's really not working for me. I got to bail. And so a lot of people all over the place two days later were like, I got to bail, man. You know, great try, but it's not working for me. I'm not getting commissions. It's not selling. And I was like, no, it does sell. You just got to send more. And they were like, dude, I can't chance that, man. It was like, they were up at like 800 clicks and no sales. And if they had a click, if they had a sale, at like 800 clicks, they would have had like a $1 EPC or something because it's so much money. But, um, you know, that's the thing is when it's not consistent like that, then people, you know, they get scared and worried. They just go by earnings per click anyway. So, I mean, you can have something like the singing guru that's like $20 and then has two $97 upsells and the EPC for my top two or th I think the top five, all of them, they were upwards of three to five dollars EPC, which means every click that they were sending, they would get the, the, the affiliate, you know, the, the guys who were sending the traffic, they would get, you know, if they sent a hundred clicks, they'd have $500 because it was selling so much. The conversion rate was so insane. You know what I mean? So that's what CB limit is about. And, uh, Chris asks, can we use Craigslist to advertise our domain names and draw them into Flippa? I actually do that. I, I did that a lot. My first auction I was a great example of that. When I posted my car auction database, this is the first one I ever did. It was for 18000 bucks. So I posted that, and I think I did it on eBay. I wasn't using Flippa yet, and Flippa wasn't even Flippa. It was SitePoint at that point. So I posted my thing and right away I went to the forums and I went to Craigslist and I said, there's a, uh, so, you know, this awesome site that I'm selling. And I got some, some views and then sure enough comments and interest and then bids, bids, bids. And then once it started bidding, when people are scrolling through those listings and they see zero, 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 two bids, then they're like, they're, they bid. Then, then it all, it, it's like a snowball. It's like an avalanche. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Look, I apologize if I didn't get around to everyone. There's a lot of people here tonight. There's still 62 people here, and it's all three hours into the webinar or four hours into it. So we've got to get out of here. But if you guys do, trust me, come back on Thursday. Hit up the questions box as much as Chris Mullins and... I think Chris Mullins gets the award of the most uh, excited person here. Also, Sandra, it was funny. Like I, we did get to chat a bit with the people who comment the most, and um, and all I would say is please come back if you if I haven't answered your question. I guess I have. I'm gonna have to do this for all of the people who are angry that I haven't asked their answered their question. Please speak now in the questions box because we're out of here. If you still are here and you've been here four hours, even if you're angry at me, you are the bomb. You're great. Because I'll tell you, that's a long time to sit in the chair. I hope that you have gotten your exercises and you're not suffering from a, from a, a, a leg that has fallen asleep or something like that. What's the word for that? What's the one? There must be one medical term for when your limbs fall asleep. 
Oh, yes, Roberto. Yes, um, on your Singing Guru resource page, you have a service where you create niche websites for clients that are profitable for 997. Is that offer still relevant and valid? Hell yeah, Roberto. Yeah, feel free, guys, to have us build your site for you if you'd like. And um, in the, you guys have access, all have access to the members area. So, of course, um, we've sold, we have about like 10. Uh, we do try to shoot for 25 a month. When we hit the uh, 25, we usually take it down until the next month. So we're at like 10 since we launched, we sold 10. So there's still 15. So if you guys want to jump on it, it's a very, very good custom service. You have to understand that it is a custom service. It's great for people who, who actually do know what they're doing a little bit with affiliate marketing, because then of course we can really go crazy. Like I've got an example, one of my um, customers, he got, a full website where he actually wrote a bit of the ebook and it's in a niche that is entirely his niche. It's in the car modification niche. And so he in, included his entire, you know, we, we, me and him worked on an ebook together and everything. And so that's why I say it's cool because of course, like, like I would much rather have uh, a whole bunch of really happy clients that, you know, they know exactly what they want out of it and they're, you know, like they, they can give us some direction because we're there, like, think of it like, like how when you go on freelancer and you hire someone to do it and you hire someone to build a site for you, it's very robotic. You know, you'd be like, you know, here, I want to do this niche. Here's my domain name, stuff like that. It's kind of the opposite over here. It's like, like we're the unrobotic people where we're actually going to be like, you know, here's some good ideas for domain names. Like we're like a production company for you. You know what I mean? And then build like exactly the type of stuff that we do. Um, thank you for the session, Ariane. Good to meet you. And um, you're into the DJ stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's got to be. That that DJ site is great. I was just thinking maybe I should all add some software because conversions aren't as what they used to be. Like, I noticed that with playing anything on drums. Nowadays, it's like since YouTube came out, music lessons, it, it really helps to have software, like some type of metron metronomic software for, for music lessons. You know what I mean? Like a little something more than just video um, I mean, it's converts good. And of course I always price my stuff competitively. Like it's not going to cost an arm and a leg. Obviously if an ebook is a dollar to $5, like I try to do for video training, I just add up on another $10 or, you know, $20 or something like that. But that's it. You know, maybe the max like 25 bucks or something. I mean, which is, it's always been, but now because of YouTube, I have to even price it a little lower. And then of course you've got the upsells in there. So it should be good. But I was thinking like there is, it is possible to get insane conversion rates with, with any, any product. It's just, it has to, it has to have the right audience and there's nothing wrong with the music lessons audience. You know, people looking for music lessons. It's just that you have to compete with YouTube. So that's what I was thinking, adding the, in the software. You know what I mean? And Alex, good to meet you there, you know, and uh, thanks for the compliments and stuff. And um, come back on Thursday. And um, regarding uh, AdWords, JB, it is it is fine. I actually, you know, I, mean, I did that music video. I actually logged into my AdWords account, and that old one that I got banned, and it wasn't banned anymore. It was weird. Did you see that in the video? Like. And that actually, as I was doing that and filming that in the music video, how I saw it go active and then I paused it, like to the rap I was doing, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It was like, that was the first time I was seeing it actually working. So yeah, I would say I'm getting frustrated with Facebook, no offense to them, but like they, they keep like freaking getting upset at me for like nothing. I'm like, what is wrong with these people, you know? So there's nothing wrong with AdWords. Like I have another account that I've been using all the time, like especially for my video ads. I mean, I mean I've got so many accounts, like PPC accounts for different reasons and stuff, but I'd say like 
just make sure that you always read all of the terms of service and get familiar with what they want you to do. And remember that if you use curse words, if you have any statements that are, you know, like make $10,000 in two days and there's a big pile of cash to be like, you know, that could, they're not, they don't know how to know if you're Jamie Lewis, like someone real or, or if you're like some Nigerian scammer or something. So they'll, they'll just see it and they have no time to even figure out if it's legit or not. They'll just close your account. You know what I mean? So just follow the, the resources and, and stand alone from, from, you know, the, the, uh, you know, guys who are, are way too competitive and spend tons and tons of money. You know what I mean? And then Rusty, you are the bomb. Come back on, on freaking Thursday. And, um, yeah, Aaron, I'm going to work on the interactive learning thing. I've got this, uh, you know, that, that software that they just came out with, uh, Mike and, uh, Mike Phil Seam just came out with this software. I don't know what you guys think of him. I mean, he's, it's a controversial subject, but he just came out with this, um, software that, uh, it, it like uh, it works off of um, Google Hangouts, and it, it you can have like ten thousand people on the webinar. You can have you know it records automatically. You have total interactive. You know every all of you guys would be talking with each other. I mean it's really kind of crazy. And so I was thinking of maybe stepping my game up. Also, if this this uh, singing guru goes nuts and uh, goes viral at some point, whether or not you know someone does a a um, article on it or something. And it goes viral, and I got like you know, hundred thousand people who sign up at the same time or something. I'm gonna have to get UStream or something, or I'd have to use Google Hangouts or something, and um, and then I would have to say goodbye to go to webinar because you can only have a thousand on here. You know what I mean? Yeah, the webinar jam. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the one. It looked pretty good. What do you think? I was thinking of adding that for you guys. You know, if you guys wanted to get it through my link in the members area, but I won't toot my own affiliate horn in this webinar. I try not to do that. But, um, all right. So you guys are the bomb. Thanks for being here so long with me. And, um, you guys like the webinar or what? You were excited. Oh, all right. That's great. Wow. Holy mackerel. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. Hey, it'll get better than this too. You know what I mean? It'll get better. Cause I apologize about being, uh, you know, unorganized and stuff a little bit, but it's um it's just the pressure you know you get on the webinar you got pressure you got to do good and then you know you're not relaxed and you know what I mean you got to talk while you're doing things and stuff like that all right so um so I'll see you guys on Thursday all right thanks so much and I'll see you then all right well thanks guys oh by the way you got the uh, links in the chat box you know the singingguru.com slash domain template and I'll add to it I'll contact them tonight, and we'll get that going. Um, and then Thursday, we'll pick up where we left off. All right. All right. So I'll see you guys on uh, Thursday. And uh, Deborah, uh, we'll do more ClickBank on uh, Thursday. I tried to keep it uh, to one method tonight because I'm all usually all over the place. So I wanted to uh, you know, keep it targeted. All right. So I'll see you guys later. And uh, you're the bomb. Cesar Alvarez is here. Everyone give him a round of applause. That's my programmer right there. Yeah. It's the man making things happen. I love you, brother. You're the bomb. All right. So I'll see you guys on Thursday and let's kick some ass. Make sure to get on your uh, keyword research for domains and all that. Bring something on class to impress everybody with. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. All right.